in this problem we have to implement our own custom power function so uh, this function takes two argument x and n so x is double and n is integers and we have to calculate x raised to the power n so for example in the first example the value of x is 2 and the value of n is 10 so we have to calculate 2 to the power 10 and 2 to the power 10 is when we multiply 2 10 times we get this result 1024 now let's see the second example in the second example the value of x is 2.1 and the value of n is 2 uh, n is 3 so we have to multiply 2.1 three times and the value of n can be positive and negative F for example in this example you can see uh, x is 2 and the n is minus 2 so it means we have to do 2 square which is 1 divided by 4.25 so this is the output now uh, here are few important points so the value of x is uh, x is between minus 100 to 100 so it is greater than minus 100 but it is less than 100 and the value of n is a 32 bit sign integer within the range minus 2 to the power 31 to 2, uh, 2, 2 to the power 31 minus 1 so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss how we can solve this problem so let's start from the easiest approach and then we will improve our solution so the easiest approach is so we know we have to calculate uh, x raised to the power n and now suppose the value of x is 2 and the value of n is 10 so what's the easiest approach so we can run a loop from 1 to 10 and we multiply 2 by 10 times so we simply run a loop from 1 to 10 and in each iteration we multiply 2 so in uh, we declared one variable result uh, which is initialized with 1 then in first iteration uh, 1 into 2 so it is 2 and uh, so it is of type double as the value of x is double and then in next iteration uh, the result is 2 and then we multiply 2 4 in next iteration 4 into 2 is 8 in next iteration 8 into 2 16 and so on and then we return result and this is the case now suppose we have to calculate 2 to the power minus 2 so we run a loop from 1 to 2 so we run a loop two times so this math dot absolute when we pass this negative number so it will uh, give the positive one so it will uh, it will run a loop from 1 to 2 so it will run a loop two times so we get the result 4 and if the value of n is less than 0 so in this case the value of n is less than 0 so we uh, we do 1 by 4 which is point, uh, 0.25 and then we return the result so uh, this code uh, is to handle uh, uh, this scenario where uh, the value of n is negative so now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is o n and its space complexity is o 1 so this code is working absolutely fine for smaller input but it is not optimized for larger inputs so for larger inputs it will give time limit exceed exception so let me run this code and you can see so let me run it so now uh, just uh, it is running and now you can see for uh, for this large uh, value of n it will give time limit exceed exception so before optimizing uh, optimizing this code let's quickly uh, see its recursive version and then we will optimize our solution now let's quickly uh, see the recursive uh, version of the previous code and how this recursive uh, code calculates uh, the value of x raised to the power n now suppose we have to calculate 2 to the power 4 so we have to compute the value of 2 to the power 4 so how this uh, recursive code calculate the value of 2 to the power 4 and how each function call is put in a call stack so that when we optimize this code you know the difference between the current code and the optimized one so here is uh, the helper method which recursively computes the value of 
x raised to the power n and the base condition is if the value of n is less than equal to 0 simply return 1 and here we are we are only passing the positive value in this case and if the value of n is negative so we are handling uh, this by using uh, if the value of n is uh, neg uh, negative then we are doing 1 uh, divided by whatever the result we get and finally we return the result so now let's assume we have to calculate 2 to the power 4 so how this recursive uh, method calculates its value now let me draw a call stack so let me draw a call stack and now uh, assume uh, we pass 2 here and 4 here and now this method is called so when this method is called so let me put them in a call stack which is 2 and then 4 and then uh, when when we key, uh, so this method is called now this condition is not true so the value of n is uh, not less than equal to 0 so it it is 4 so it is greater than 0 so we reach at this statement and we call uh, 2 into so this method which is 2 and then then again we call this method helper method with uh, the value of x is 2 and the value of n is 3 so again in next method call it is 2 into 2 and again we call recursively as uh, the this condition is not true so again we call recursively uh, with the new value of 2 which is 2 I mean and then uh, uh, in next method call we call 2 and then one so in each call we are reducing the value of n and now this time when we call this this method with the value of n is 0 so we reach so the base condition this condition is true so we simply return 1 so we get the answer of this method call which is 1 so we return 2 into 1 so 2 and this method will get the answer of this method call so this method is goes into a poor state and it is waiting to get the answer of this call so it will get its answer which is 2 now 2 into 2 4 so we return 4 here so the answer of this method call is 4 so 2 into 4 now 8 so we get 8 here and this method will get its answer so it is 2 into 8 and it is 16 so now this method will get its answer which is 16 and 16 is assigned to result and the value of n is not negative so this condition is skipped and we return 16 so this is how we recursively calculate computes the value of x raised to the power n and again its time complexity is o n and its space complexity is also o n because in each method call is put in a call stack now let's optimize uh, our solution for the larger input in our previous approach we have solved this problem in o n time complexity it means if we have to calculate uh, x to the power n then we have used this recurrence relation which is x cross x to the power n minus 1 if the value of n is greater than 0 and 1 if the value of n is equal to 0 so this approach will work fine if the input is smaller for larger input it will give time limit exceed exception so we have to think some approach uh, by which we can solve this problem in o log n time complexity or we we have to solve we have to think how we can uh, reduce the computation at each step so now let's take the example of 2 to the power 10 so instead of multiplying 2 to n times so 2 to actually n minus 1 times we can uh, what we can do is we can also do this thing so we can do 2 to the power 5 into 2 to the power 5 or you can say it is 2 cross 2 to the power 5 so it will also give the same result but uh, what we are doing is we are reducing the computation and if we use this recurrence relation now let's say uh, this is the case of even what if if it is odd so for odd we can write it as 
2 cross 2 cross 2 to the power 5 so now uh, let me write uh, recurrence relation now let's say if the value of n is even so we can write it as x cross x by n by 2 if the value of n is even so if the value of n is even and for odd we can write it as x cross x cross x by n by 2 if n is odd and if the value of n is 0 then we know it is uh, if the value of n is 0 then it is 1 so by using uh, this recurrence relation we can reduce the computation at each uh, at each recursive call so i mean uh, let's see how we can solve this problem using uh, this recurrence relation now let's say uh, we have to calculate 2 to the power uh, 10 so we have to com uh, compute what's the result of 2 to the power 10 and we have already defined the recurrence relation and uh, now let's see uh, how we have uh, implemented this in our recursive call so the value of n can be positive and negative so we have to handle both the cases for negative uh, we are calling this method and for positive also we are calling uh, this method uh, only the difference is in case of negative we are doing uh, 1 divided by whatever the computed result we get from this method call so now uh, we have to uh, compute the value of 2 to the power 10 so i mean uh, we are calling so let me draw a stack call so that now you know the difference so we already discuss uh, our previous approach uh, using this and now let's discuss uh, this approach now then you can uh, see uh, the in this by using this approach uh, the number of function call is reduced drastically so now we have to calculate 2 to the power 10 so n is positive so we are calling so let me put them in a call stack so 2 and 10 and we have defined three cases for positive for, for uh, even for odd and when n the value of n is 0 and the uh, so here are the base case if the value of n is 0 return 1 if the value of n is 1 return simply x we know uh, 2 to the power 1 or any x to the power 1 is always x so simply return x if it is even so we have already defined x cross x and we are reducing this to n by 2 and for odd it is x cross and then x cross x and we are reducing to half so now 2 to the power 10 so uh, we made this function call and both the conditions are not true and then uh, this the value of n is even so what we do is we again recursively call this method so we put this in a call stack which is 4 and 5 so this type again uh, these two conditions are not true and the value of n is 5 so it is odd and in case uh, when the value of n is odd uh, this statement will be executed and it will be so this function call so which is now 16 and when we divide it to 2 so it will be 2 and the value of x which is 4 now in next function call so in next function call again uh, these two conditions are not true and the value of n is even so it is so we do the square of 16 which is 256 and now it is 1 and we made a call um, we made a, call, a recursive call to this uh, uh, this method again and this time this condition is true the value of n is 1 so we simply return this uh, uh, 256 so when uh, this function call is so when we made this call and we get its value so this function uh, call uh, gets the return value and the return value is x so this function call get its value 256 so it is uh, pop uh, from the stack call and 
uh, this 256 is return here and this function call uh, get its value which is 256 and when we multiply it with 4 now it is 1024 and again uh, they will get its answer so it will be popped out from the call stack and 1024 is return here so it will uh, get its answer and it will be popped out and it will return uh, this computation to this method call so this method call will get its answer which is 1024 so it will return 1024 and it will be popped out from the function call so this is how this uh, recursive call works and you can see the difference if we uh, if uh, if we compute the value of 2 to the power 10 using our previous approach so we made 10 function calls so each function call will be put in a call stack and in this case you can see the difference so you can see for larger input uh, this will drastically improve the time complexity as well as it can uh, drastically reduce uh, the function call so uh, this uh, in this way we can solve this problem uh, i mean we have improved our previous approach and now let's run this code and then we will talk about its time and space complexity now let's submit this code and see its output and when i submit this code so now this time it is accepted successfully and in our previous approach uh, our code uh, was given the time limit exceed exception but in this case it is uh, accepted successfully now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is o log n and here we are using the recursive implementation so each function call uh, so each recursive call is put in a call stack so the time uh, the space complexity is also o log n and uh, now i have done the recursive implementation uh, you can try with its iterative implementation so in case of iterative implementation the time complexity is o log n but its space complexity uh, will be o1 so let's try uh, let's uh, try yourself uh, its iterative implementation and paste your code in the comment section and that's it for this video tutorial and uh, for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this uh, video and please don't forget to like this video